Hello friends, I'm Parwes and in the previous video we have learned that uh, how you can uh, create tables, uh, MySQL tables in Python programming language. So this is from the previous video, this is the code that we have created uh, an employee table and if you see my database uh, I have an employee table. But right now I don't have any data for this, I have name, email and age fields. Uh, but uh, there is no data. Now in this video I want to show you how you can insert data uh, in Python programming language uh, in MySQL database. So there are two ways that you can do and I'm going to show you the bot way. So the first way is, uh, let me show you the first way uh, and let me just copy some codes. So I need to copy these codes from the previous uh, video. So let me just uh, uh, copy these codes and paste it in my inserting data okay like this uh, after this uh, let me create a DB uh, object so a DB <coughs> so MDB dot connect dot connect so I want DB host I want db uh, user uh, db password and db name <coughs> okay now after this let me create my insert query so insert query insert query and in here I'm going to write so insert insert into employee <coughs> and if you see uh, my database I have name email and age so I want to insert the data in the name in email and age okay and the values that I want so values and for the value for example I want to add my name and my email address so and also I'm going to for example give an age for example 25 24 so after this <coughs> now let me create a try uh, try accept so for the try I want to in the try I want to I want to execute my query so uh, I have forgot to uh, cre create cursor object so cur db dot cursor and now I am going to execute my query so execute <coughs> and I want to execute the insert query so after this you need to commit the change in the database so db dot uh, commit and also you need to print something for example data inserted successfully and let me create except so in the except I want to print um, failed to insert the data okay and also we need to close db dot close the server okay <coughs> now this is our complete code and let me run this So now you can see we have received the message data inserted successfully. Now if I check my uh, database employee, so now I have a new data in here so that we have given. Let me add uh, some more data for example John and, and you can give uh, for example 20. Let me execute the query. <coughs> let me another name so bob at gmail.com you can give it for example 29 so insert data now let me refresh my database now you can see I have uh, three data in 
So now this was the first way that we have added some data into our MySQL database with Python programming language. Now uh, in this way uh, there are chances that uh, uh, there are chances that uh, you get uh, SQL injection. Now uh, for preventing SQL injection we are using placeholders uh, instead of these hard-coded data. So now I'm going to just copy all of the code and I'm going to paste it in my another Python file. So uh, we are going to just bring change in our this insert query. So now uh, instead of uh, we have uh, values and instead of giving these values we are going to add a placeholders. So for example let me add because we have three data like this and now in here we are going to create a tuples so value and now in here you can give your value so for example I want to give Tom <coughs> tum at gmail.com and also you can give an h for example 30 okay now in the insert query you need to also add your value now using this method you can prevent SQL injection now let me run the code so data inserted successfully and I'm going to check my database so I have a new data in here uh, so thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel